Dennis O'Rourke. Mr Speaker, this question is for the Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills and Employment. Has PricewaterhouseCoopers applied to the Ministry of Business, Innovation and Enterprise to have aeroplane pilot added to the list of essential skills in demand? Honourable uh, Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, yes. PricewaterhouseCoopers, acting on behalf of Air New Zealand, has nominated aeroplane pilot for addition to the immediate skill shortage list, which is part of the essential skills and demands list. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. Does he accept the claim that there is a shortage of airline pilots in New Zealand, and if so, what is the evidence to support that claim? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, that would not be my interpretation based on the information that we have collated as a result of the changes to tertiary education recently in relation to uh, pilots. My understanding, though, is the Ministry is currently considering the situation as it's required to do uh, and we'll make a decision in due course. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. If the ap application were to be granted, would it damage employment prospects for New Zealanders who train as airline pilots and is that a determining factor in whether the application will be granted? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, I, I don't think that's necessarily the case. You'd have to look at all factors, but I would notice that we have had, in recent times, a surplus of pilots in New Zealand looking for the sort of jobs uh, that, are, that are described in the application. So those are the sort of things that the Ministry will have to consider. It's a very fluid situation, of course, at the moment with the, uh, the skills demand list. And, for example, the immediate skills shortage list may even change as recently as today, because I understand there's now a shortage of opposition leaders. Order. And Order. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. If the application were to be granted, would it damage the future business sustainability of New Zealand's world-ranking pilot training organisations, and is that a determining factor in whether the application will be granted? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, actually, Mr Speaker, there is a, there's a number of factors that would be considered, and I certainly appreciate the member's concerns about the issues that he's raised, and obviously uh, the Ministry, and it goes and seeks advice from other ministries and organisations such as the Tertiary Education Commission to get an understanding of what the flow-through of pilots is and the availability of training and so on. So all of that takes place. But as I say, it, you know, it varies very much from profession to profession. So because the, the example I mentioned before, there of course may be a skills shortage, but I understand there also may be any number of people lining up to be an opposition leader, for example. Order. And, you know, Question number four, Materia Turo. Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. 